Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling? Yeah, baby. You know who's cool? Rob. Passion Killer 7-Eleven. A guy from Ohio. I would agree with that statement. Um, I put it in the comments of, uh, if not all of the recent videos, at least the one when it was most important. Um, the world has lost a Jay Briscoe, and that is sad. Yep, we record these in batches. This is our first time recording this save file since the loss of Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe is one of the people in our Fed. You know, there's a <laughs> weird thing that eFeds do. Uh, at least the last time I was involved with the eFed community, which is entirely on Twitter now, as I understand it. I hate it there. Uh, but uh, a lot of feds don't let you use um, dead people as your your character rep or play-by, as the terminology often is. I wonder why. Uh, I'd say I think it's disrespectful, um, and especially in the actual indies where I do kind of understand this more than, say, a WWE superstar or Andre the Giant or something, uh, if somebody comes across someone who is dead acting like they're alive in this fake Twitter... That might upset them. Yeah. Um, That's one of the reasons I don't like the eFed community being on Twitter, because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, fam. That's... It's, it's cring. It is a little mm -hmm. weird, right? Because, like, even if you're using an alive person, like, I don't know that I want, at the time, for example, Solo Darling to visit a fed I'm in and be like, is this what this person thinks I'm like? No. I'm not you. I just don't have a photo of someone who looks like you. I suppose times have changed and now I could get one. Yeah, I could, like, if, if we were still e fedding I might just transition to AI generating all of my... Play buys. It would be terribly convenient. Yes. No one's offended. Nobody's dead. Not real. Fake. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we uh, we have a show to book, a series of shows, so let's get to it. Um, I suppose dashboard notifications, we completed our goal there. Uh, Mark Briscoe wants to be in an I Quit match, um, and uh, our offer for Rebecca Knox was accepted. We're trying to recruit Kevin Steen, and we're training Xavier on Charisma, um, something we found out in between is this guy is not who we thought he was no he's not the teacher matt striker he's a different matt striker in fact he's a whole different human yeah if we go to the oh no that's our roster uh the indies there's matt striker oh well they have the same name also oh he's in a sweater vest mm -hmm. and everything yeah um so, yeah, that's uh, one has a Y, one has an I. That's the difference. Okay, sure. Um, but we were building for Homicide to have a pure title shot, so... Uh, I just get that out of the way. Yeah, right? let's just start off with that. Uh, demand title shot, right? Yeah, build the feud. Let's, let's start. Go. Let's, let's kick it off. With Homicide... And our champion, Xavier. With his one fucking charisma. Uh, we, uh... <laughs> We appreciate every comment we get, viewer. Absolutely. Every suggestion you have. We've learned a lot about the game because of you. Someone recently suggested that we just change Xavier into Xavier Woods. No, that's a different guy. I, I don't... I believe he might have been wrestling at this point. Yeah, I think he was. 2009? Eh, eh, it it's a little, a little early. early. Yeah. But, uh... Like, he might... Consequences Creed might be in here. That's <laughs> fucked up. But, uh, you know, we can check in just a second. Um, but I... I that's not... That's not the vibe. Because <laughs> if, we, if we just wanted to do WWE guys, we would just use a save file where we're, that's what we were doing. It's not like they're inaccessible to us. Sure. If I just wanted to be King Shit of the Mountain and be the WWE and do all of their stuff... I could just do... The, they're in this save file. Well, and if I wanted to replace our wrestlers with, like, cooler wrestlers, uh, I, I, I would have already done that. Yeah, that would be yeah, done already. we'd already be here. This is part of the challenge, you know? Part of yes, the... Yes, to get over this... This fella with his one charisma over. Uh, 
And also, you know, for us to be booking in a world we're not familiar with that is that slice of that era. You know, let's see how things diverge from there. Maybe we'll get Xavier Woods. Maybe he will fight Xavier. That would be fun. That'd be great. But anyway, for now, uh, let's add producer focus because this isn't going to be good. Fuck no. Uh, Add a feud? Uh, Yes, add a feud. Uh, Uh, Just a new challenge. Yeah, gotta gotta grind it. Mm -hmm. Gotta grind them all Uh, now. Let's, let's let's check. Let's check if he's there. Satisfy my curiosity. Ooh, no. I might be a little early. I don't know when he actually started wrestling. Well, gee. Oh, it's 2004. Oh, well, no. Not then. No, 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 that's too early. Like, I know that's too Yeah, early. That's, that's a bit. bit Nine early. seemed like it was on the, the sure. edge. All right. Uh, so we've got that. Um, we've still got CM Punk <coughs> and Samoa Joe, and we have the new fresh feud between Alex Shelley and Jimmy Jacobs. Um, wow, that's hot. That's a hot. It started. Feud. It started out well. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, let's let's take a look at where are their um, where are um, where are they? Who are they all the way down here? No. Alex Shelley's right there. Alex um, Shelley. There we go. Uh, mm, one charisma. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs. Three charisma. Mm. Three. J- Jimmy Jacobs might be able to carry this feud. Yeah. So, uh, well, Jimmy Jacobs is the new heel, so we'll have him do uh, Ooh. a Why I Went Heel promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we will do that under the guise of solo feud promo. Yes, good. You talk. The other man doesn't talk. No. <laughs> Um, what do we think, uh, for Punk and Joe? Uh, well, they're at three of six staleness, so Mm -hmm. we should be wrapping this up. I think the ultimate call is, do we plan on having Punk take the title? I don't think Joe's been champ long enough for that to be a thing that we want to do. Mm, Two months. so. So, not really. We need the prestige on the title. Yes. Uh, and look at Joe's stats. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's pretty good. So then I feel like we want to want to ultimately end up with Joe going over. So Punk should be strong during this um, sequence. He lost the pay per view. Right. So we, he needs a reason to get it, to have another title shot. Okay. Um, Punk is a face right now. He is. He could just uh, do the old classic. Uh, come out, ask for a shot. And Joe is like, no, you can't beat me. Everybody knows how the match is going to end. Why should we bother entertaining this? This is, this, is, this is not just bad for me. It's bad for the people. The people then boo. The people don't want this. The people then boo. Do you hear how upset they are at this concept? Uh, <laughs> the people then get confused and don't know how to react. <laughs> B.A.? <laughs> um, what if that's what they did? What if you went to a wrestling show and everyone was like, yay! Oh. No. <laughs> Anyway, Punk and Joe fight. Punk gets a win. Uh, not for the title. Yeah, no. No. CM Punk gets a win. Yeah. And that um, that justifies the uh, the next title shot. Okay. Uh, we need something for the tag team champions to do. We do. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, due to circumstances, I'm going to I'm not going to want to take the titles off them for a while. <laughs> no. Well, I don't think we were going to either way. I don't we, think we so. We don't really well, have... Because, I mean, look at their stats. Yeah, we, we don't really have any good tag teams right now anyway. Um, and I believe they're even over. So, like, why would I... Why would I? Uh, they're up there. No, they're not quite over, but they're 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 good hands. Yeah, they are. Um, all right, I think they're just sort of uh, bopping around, but they kind of did the last uh, Let's time. take a look at our tag team. They're, they're both heels, right? Yeah, let's look at the teams themselves. Good call. Good thinking. Do we have a face tag team that isn't terrible? Uh, Carnage Crew's not great, but they are tag team specialists. Well, okay. they have one anyway. Uh, Ring Crew Express has been pulling numbers, I remember, and they're both tag team specialists. Mm, okay. Uh, Outcast Killers are heels. Don Juan and Fast Eddie have nothing. I would say if we're going to do something Ring Crew Express and just let them work. Fuck it. Why not? All right. Uh, is that what we ran at the pay-per-view? That's entirely possible. Let's let's double check. Events. 
Um. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, okay. Well, I believe we were intending to like. Well, we can start this a into a team. few. So, um. Yeah, we have a couple of new teams we want to form, but they're in feuds right now. So, oh well. Um. Okay, so. Let's get rid of this demand title shot. How many? Three? Okay. Four with uh, getting rid of that. And in fact, let's get rid of Samoa Joe versus CM Punk. Oh, okay. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. All I'm, right. I'm listening. Um, we do the non-existent promo where Punk is like, I can beat you. Joe's like, no, you can't. Uh, he says, you know what? Uh, I I'll give you an opportunity. If you can beat me tonight... In the main event, I will give you an opportunity at a shot at the title. And <laughs> of course, the crowd is like, oh, come on, man. But, you know, Punk's hungry. He wants it. So Joe is like, <coughs> take me on. Um, and also, pure champion Xavier, uh, you and Homicide. So, like, we're mixing and matching the, the mm -hmm, heels and the faces? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we're probably going to have to just build the other feud in the back here. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we have a decent amount of money, though. Uh, feuds. Uh, add. Yes, yeah, superstars. Xavier. Homicide. And then new title challenger. Create. So that'll kick off. That did not cost us much at all. That's awesome. Um, so now uh, we can do a tag match. Um, Ring Crew Express can take on... Where's the other heel team? Outcast Killers. In fact... No, just Outcast Killers. Let's not overbook this. Uh, that's a that's, segment. It is a segment. We need a tag team match. Um... There we go. There we go. Good alignment boost. And then afterward, they can demand a title shot to start off the feud. I'll just type it in because everything else is hard. Cool. Uh, book it. It's not going to be great. It is what it is. Um, no, we don't need to add that feud because you already made that feud. No, no, this is the other feud. Yeah, this is the other feud. Um, well, I don't want to do new challenger again. No. Let's do the fill-in. This is a good space to start okay. grinding the fill-in. Um, so tempting. No, no, not yet. Uh, it's not time yet. You took my banana. True opposites? No. No, they're both hard-working fellas. Yeah, Some, that, One exactly said it's just right. assholes. Moral disagreement. No, I like that. Sure. You guys are assholes. You don't deserve to be the, the, the champions of our company. Hard-working guys like us. True wrestling salt of the earth. We do. There's good promos in there. And then them boys have some shit to say about yes. that. Uh, we've got two left. I think we should debut our new Rebecca Knox. Yeah! It's fucking um, hell yeah. Ooh, that's a face. I was going to have her go over Bitey, but he's a face. Doug Williams, though. Doug Williams? Sorry, Doug. Yeah, sorry, Doug. What are you... One, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Ooh, big old alignment boost. I love to see it. Okay, uh, what else do you think we should book? Um, Let's get... We've got our main event on the card. We've got everyone in the main event on the card, I believe. We don't have that many main eventers. Right. Um, uh, Brian Danielson. So let's get some... Let's, let's give Brendan Dindle some shit to do. Because um, I got him tagged as the next main event, the next title contender. Okay. Do we want to have him winning that? Yes, I think so. Okay. Uh, Don't go farther down than that. <laughs> yeah. Just so, Incredible, I think, would be fine. Or it's face v. face, but... Nigel McGuinness. Either one is fine to me. How bad is that? Oh, it's fine. It's a little boost. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's better than a. It's name. just two wrestlemen wrestling. They put on their black trunks. <laughs> Ring of Honor was never really like that, though. No. Like, I was led to believe it was, but it, 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 I guess it wasn't. All right, let's play this out. Uh, so, Ring Crew Express picks up a victory. Over the Outcast Killers. It was bad. Okay. Hurtful to my feelings. It's all right. Dim boys. It, it's not bad. That's that wasn't them. That was that was the Ring Crew Express. Well, I've seen their crew. Look, it got us prestige. It, that's it's doing good. Uh, Rebecca Knox with a dominant victory. Ooh, almost three stars. That's pretty good for us. I mean, yeah. Doug is only content now. Mm. Well, yeah, he just lost to like a straight up jobber. Uh, Brian Danielson. Wow, that's all you guys could pull, huh? Not a great week for us. No, not really. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs is here. Come on, Jimmy. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, and Homicide and Punk pick up a victory. Hey, that was pretty good, too. Um, awesome. Show was not great. You know, we're just used to way better. That's all. 20 bucks. That's paid for the feud, I think. <laughs> I think and then some, actually. Uh, we lost 3.1k fans. That's not amazingly surprising. No, hey... Um, we did better than TNA Explosion. They we did way they, better than JPW. They, they dumped, wow, they are just crashing into the earth. And that's that many fans we can scoop up next time. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, do we actually lose wrestlers in an I Quit match? I don't know. Hmm. Might have to save that. Okay. Um, I say let's continue with the straight up tag team matches. Uh, we can't possibly, right? No, that's a loser leaves town match. Well, let's check it while we're sitting here. Uh, gimmick. Uh, I quit. The only way to win is humiliate your opponent and make them quit. I don't think it actually has the, that stipulation to it. I think it's just the type of the match, right? Right, it's just a regular I quit match. Yeah. It's not like a because there's there there's a different gimmick for that. Um, so two v two here. Uh, oh, I could probably put on just the Briscoes versus uh, Ring Crew, and they could pick up a win to make them look like valid contenders. I don't hate that. Um, but in the meantime, Xavier and. Uh, oh, my brain is mush. Who are you Jimmy Jacobs. Here we go. go. Versus Alex Shelley and Homicide. Book that. Yeah. Um. I guess the Samoa Joe CM Punk match should go here. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Okay. And then like next week will be a rest week, or well, we have two. Should we do a promo this week? Um. Hmm. I'll go ahead and book that tag match while you're thinking. I'm just thinking of what would be better for getting the feud over. I think a, I think a promo white would be better for getting the feud over. Okay. Uh. Because it's just the the promo being like, yeah, a straight up promo battle. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the promo being like CM Punk's like, all right, let's do my match. Oh, whoa, whoa! I said you'd get an opportunity. I didn't say when. <laughs> uh, let's continue to build up Brian. Also, you think? I think he doesn't really need built up, but sure. I want him on the card. Okay. Yeah, he's one of our best guys. So, um, let's see here. We've got all our feuds covered. He's right? got fifty percent fatigue. Okay, so Brian rests this week. Yeah, Brian can rest this week. In fact, he's the only one who seems to have that high of a fatigue. Everyone else is doing fine. Then yeah, Brian can rest. That's fine. Cool. We don't we don't need him on the card every week if it means that he's going to get injured. I like knowing when that's a thing. Yes, <laughs> me too. Um, okay. Uh, um, all right. So then let's put we we want to book some people, right? Yeah. Um Huh. So, are there any feuds we haven't covered? I don't think so, right? Uh, these are all our feuds. Yeah. Then, just good wrestling. Uh, let's get some dudes with some good work rate all right, and got, throw them on the card. We got Nigel, BJ Whitmer. Like, Colt Cabana is, is good, solid work rate. 
Sure. Three charisma. We're underutilizing Colt Cabana. We are. Well, we're not a we're a we're a pure fit. That doesn't so. seem to matter as much as the game told me it would. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um Cold Cabana could use a win. So who's a heel he could beat? Uh probably Nigel, right? Are we in singles? Yeah. So yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Book that. Uh do we want to keep building Rebecca Knox? I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> um You know, all these guys are also Oh, Dan Math, he's not bad. That's right. God, Jay Lethal's good. Hmm. All right. What do we think about a pro about a literal like feud between her and one of these dudes? I, I Jay Lethal, I think, would be really good for that. Actually, I don't hate this idea. Yeah. What's the feud? Well, let's see what we got. Um, let's book it and add feud. What are our options? Indie superstar. This is our home. She could be really you know nice and sweet and get behind the fans. And Jay Lethal's like, "What are you doing here? Get out of here! You don't go here." That's interesting. That's interesting that, that the, the book here is, uh, for once, the person who is, like, the the local is the heel. And, like, the f- and this is our place. This is for us. Isn't that right, everyone? Boo. We like Rebecca Knox. Boo. She's nice. Boo. <laughs> oh, you've got them all. You've, you've got them in your clutches. You've, can, you've, you've tricked all these people. I'll show them who you really are. Yeah, okay. It's going to be fun. I think uh, Jay Lethal could get that shit over. Oh, yeah. I think Jay Lethal expertly could get that over. Um, all right. Uh, do we want to do another promo? Oh, have, we haven't uh, done show hype. Yeah, let's get the, let's get the fucking Event pay-per-view hype. package, yeah. Do that. Uh, what's our producer focus? Uh, nothing. You want me to put it on this year? Sure. All right. I just know it's a thing we can do, and we should do it. Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, that's our show. I don't have any um, problem with anything on this show. You know, I'm going to move this around just because we're a pure fit. I don't know if it actually matters. but uh, I, I don't think it does, but I know it brings you joy. Yeah. So okay. go for yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rebecca Knox beats up Jay Lethal, or does he beat her up, and that's why everyone's mad? Ooh, I like that. Uh, I don't... Mm-hmm. So, like, if going further, maybe he could interfere in her matches or just talk shit to her. I Jay like Lethal that. is good on the mic. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. We got a three-star match out of it, so that's not bad. It's a good way to start. Uh, hey, three stars on the ROH anniversary. We got some hype for the show. That's what you love to see. Um, the Ring Crew Express is getting a win here. Yes, that's going to qualify them for the titles. It's not bad. We didn't get anything out of it, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, getting Cole Cabana a win, right? That was the plan. Okay. This is three-star ROH. Meltzer in shambles. Bam, that producer focus helped, and CM Punk is over. Oh, excellent. That's going to help out a lot. That's going to help out a lot. Okay. Um, I think maybe... This was all you. I don't I don't know what's going on. It here. was. So it was just another, you know, we only have so much room on the card and I want to get these feuds put over. Um, last time, Homicide and Punk won against Samoa Joe. Yeah, I think still Homicide and Alex Shelley should battle back. I think that uh, Jimmy Jacobs should be on the back foot and Xavier's ultimately going over. Okay. So. Yeah. All that sounds fine to me. All right, and it was three Pretty and a half good, stars. Yeah. So not bad, not bad at all. We got twenty five dollars, twenty five bucks. Hey, and we bled two point five k fans. That's my prediction. Two point five. Uh, I'm gonna say two point one. Ooh, Ooh, only one point seven. See, this is a good way to like uh, re restructure my my outlook. Oh, we lost fans. No, no, no. We didn't lose as many fans as I thought we would. CZW did worse. That's what I like and to see. And so did NJ. Jesus Christ, they lost 110,000 fans. Yeah, they're just not putting on that good of a product. Uh, all right, cool. Hey, folks, we didn't realize until uh, after we stopped recording this that we could have had two episodes out of this one. So we do. Bye. <laughs>